This is session one of your traffic generation and SEO training. This is the 24 hour traffic plan where you're going to discover how to drive traffic within 24 hours to your website. So inside the 24 hour traffic plan, the very first step that you need to do is choose a targeted buyer keyword phrase. And so what you do is I use the Google AdWords keyword tool and I'm going to show you that in the next video where we basically go through and step by step help you identify a keyword phrase inside of your niche that people are looking for. Now if you own a small business and maybe you are a chiropractor in Tulsa, Oklahoma for example, your targeted keyword phrase would be Tulsa, Oklahoma chiropractors or it might be Tulsa chiropractors or something of that nature because that's what people are most likely going to look for to find your business. If you are selling uh, you know, weight loss information, your targeted keyword is not going to be a narrow keyword like weight loss. It's going to be a buyer, a focus keyword. So it might be something like uh, weight loss diet information because you know if they're typing in that kind of keyword phrase, there's there's not as many searches, but they're a very targeted buyer. Like if somebody's typing in weight loss um, diet information, they want to buy information. They want to find information on weight loss diet, so they might buy information if you offer. They might opt into your list. And you know, let's say that you are a um, you know, let's just say you are a lawyer in Chicago, Illinois. You know, your your targeted keyword phrase would be Chicago, Illinois lawyer. Or it's, um, you know, you happen to be a um, church in Stillwater, Oklahoma. It might be Stillwater, Oklahoma church. Churches, Oklahoma. Churches, Stillwater. Stillwater churches. That would be your targeted keyword phrase. And so the main focus here is to narrow down on a targeted buyer keyword phrase that's related to your niche and we show you I'm going to show you on the screen how to do that but you can use the AdWords keyword tool it's A D W O R D S AdWords keyword tool and you just type in the root domain name so for example you are like a a business in Tulsa Oklahoma you might say Tulsa uh, you might say Tulsa chiropractors and see what kind of keyword options come up that way and so that's the first step because once you have this keyword this is the keyword that you're going to target in this 24-hour plan and you want it to be a keyword that has some search volume and the AdWords keyword tool will identify different keyword phrases that have search volume so you see ones that can potentially drive you traffic and keep in mind as you go through the steps and this process that you can implement this as many times as you want on the same website and get great results so you can you know keep going through this step um, you know for a different focus keyword phrase for example so the first step the after you've identified the keyword phrase the very next step is to go ahead and submit your website to social bookmarking websites using www.onlywire.com and www.socialmarking.com now what's onlywire.com and socialmarking.com is those are places that have uh, information and and links to websites where you can access social bookmarking websites now social bookmarking site if you're not aware is a site basically that's set up with the sole purpose of allowing people to share links with each other and people will go to social bookmarking sites and they will share stories and say I you know I like this story so I'm gonna do I'm gonna submit it to this site and let see if other people like it and sites like dig.com uh, reddit.com mix.com those are huge social bookmarking um, type websites that people are using it's it's so social bookmarking because it, there's a large audience of people using it. Well these traffics are, are high authority sites, they have tons of traffic and the search engines will actually rank the individual bookmarked you know, pages, meaning that if you submit a, a link on there, it will actually submit your link on an internal page. And so that's what the power of social bookmarking websites is. And using a tool called onlywire.com, it will automatically submit your website to about 20 social bookmarking websites at one time. And so I'm going to show you how to set up that account 
um, at onlywire.com in a in an upcoming video here. And the same thing, socialmarketing.com, it's similar to OnlyWire. Um, OnlyWire does it automatically. Social marketing kind of helps automate the process, though, to where um, it gives you a list of, of an additional set of social bookmarking websites to consider of you know quite a bit more than the 20 OnlyWire covers. So you find more sites that you could submit your business to. And it will actually bring up a list where if you just, you just click on the name of the website, and it will actually pre-fill the forms uh, for the social bookmarking and cuz when you're doing social bookmarking the forms you know typically will ask for the title of the story which is going to be your main keyword phrase so that's very important when i say submit it you want to submit your main keyword phrase in the title next you want to have your description and inside the description you want to try to incorporate your keyword phrase where it makes sense and put a one or two sentence that entices people to go to your website or offer so as an example here that we're just gonna stick with the Tulsa Oklahoma chiropractors example if you were to say you know Tulsa Oklahoma chiropractors and you were going to use that as an you know your keyword phrase so you would create a story called Tul Tulsa Oklahoma chiropractors uh, if that was your website that's what you would submit Tulsa Oklahoma chiropractors and you would say you know get your spine aligned uh, with this powerful um, you know with this recognized whatever um, Tulsa Oklahoma chiropractor you know as an example and so that's what you're going to how you're going to submit to these social sites and then they ask usually after you've done your title and your description they'll ask for a link so you just plug in your link and then if they ask for a tag they will plug in the tags well the great thing with these two tools is they will automate this process now the first time you do this I'm gonna warn you it will take some time because you have to go in and set up these accounts there's about 20 social bookmarking sites with only wire.com that you'll want to set up and there's like 50 or so sites with social marking now you don't need to set up all the accounts with socialmarking.com if you don't want to um, but you will want to at least set up the ones on OnlyWire because that one will automatically do the submissions and I'll show you how, how to utilize that because that's a very powerful tool and so in this step once you've chosen your targeted buyer keyword phrase and obviously you have your website ready to go so it can get traffic you are going to go to OnlyWire.com and after you've set up your account you will go ahead and bookmark your site at least all the sites on onlywire.com that'll get you out there to about 15 to 20 or so websites on high traffic sites and that's going to start uh, the ball rolling and getting you some traffic and that's also going to help the search engines possibly go and see if you change things on your site or sometimes it will help them pick up your site if it's brand new um, using this step alone and that will help you get your site indexed faster which means it comes up faster and higher in the search engines the next thing you're going to do is ping your website using pingomatic.com. So you're going to go to www.pingomatic.com and it's going to ask you to insert your blog. And if you're actually doing just a standard HTML website, it would just be your main URL. So if it's just a squeeze page, for example, it would just be your main URL that you are sending them to. And for those who aren't aware, you know, squeeze page is a form where you have it set up to squeeze information out of people. So you you're gathering names and emails, and that's an important strategy um, so you know let's say again that you have you know a physical you know uh, an offline business or even an online business you set up your website you're going to go to www.pingomatic.com and you will just follow their little basic steps fill in their form put in your URL where it says blog information and then you're off to the races now you can skip this step if you're actually using WordPress because by default WordPress will do a ping to Pingomatic and what Ping Pingomatic does is it helps the search engines pick up all of the pages of um, help search engine pick up your site and pick up uh, help start the process of picking up pages of content within your website and so that's important because you want your site to be found uh, within the search engines and pinging will help do that sometimes and it also just kind of helps notify other directories that you have done something you know with your blog and potentially you can get some traffic that way but at least the most important factor I've seen is that it can assist in getting your site indexed the next thing you're going to do is go to www.blogger.com and you're going to create a blog and link to your website inside the first post on that blog. So for this step, you go to blogger.com and you set up your account. And to set up your account, you just use your Google account information. And so you're just going to go ahead and set up your blogger.com account. 
Um, you know, if you already have Google Analytics, Google AdSense, Google AdWords, um, you know, Google Gmail, any kind of Google account, you already have what you need to sign up for blogger.com. And if you don't, you can just set up your own uh, Google account and they will step you through the process of getting set up with Blogger. And so once you're set up, you just follow the instructions to get your blog set up. And again, we're going to have a video showing you how to set this up properly. Uh, but during that process, you're going to be asked to name your blog. And it's very important that you name your blogger blog the main keyword phrase, you know, in the dot blogspot.com because that's how it's going to come come up. It's going to ask you for what name you want to use. So for this example, I would I would use Tulsa Oklahoma Chiropractors dot blogspot dot com because Tulsa Oklahoma Chiropractors is my main keyword phrase. So it'd be Tulsa Oklahoma Chiropractors all run together dot blogspot dot com and you'll see that on that form when you're filling it out. Now in the title of your blog, you obviously again use your keyword phrase uh, where it's going to ask you to name your blog or title your blog. You put in your main keyword phrase there. And what that's going to accomplish for you is, you know, it's get your get your keyword phrase in the right spot so the search engines can pick up your blogger blog and it also helps um, you know basically tell the search engines that the content on that site is going to be relevant for that topic and that will not only help that site come up in the search engines but it also is going to help uh, give that link that you're going to be sending to your website because inside that first post on your blogger blog which all it needs to be is a short article about 200 250 words uh, talking about your your niche your keyword phrase you know so obviously if you're a chiropractor you might talk tell a little bit story about uh, Tulsa Oklahoma chiropractors if you are a lawyer in Chicago you might um, you know write some information about being a lawyer in Chicago and um, you know whatever the case might be uh, you know you can put that information in your first post and inside that first post you want to send a link over to your website inside that blogger.com blog post now the next thing you're going to do is once you've created your first blogger.com uh, blog post, you're going to open up uh, the blogger blog after you, you know you reviewed it and make sure everything looks good. Um, you're going to go ahead and look at the bottom of your blogger blog for something called post atom, and it's called posts atom, and you're actually going to click on that, and it's going to bring up what's called an RSS feed. Now RSS stands for real simple syndication and it's just basically a way for you to syndicate your content out there to a variety of different websites at once and you're going to choose the submit um, choose the post atoms and then what you're going to do is submit them to these two sites that I have up here one's called feedag.com and another one is called feedbase.net and these are sites where people can submit their RSS feeds because other webmasters and other people that have websites go in there to try to look at these RSS feeds plus sometimes people will use these sites you know to get their fresh updated content so you're trying to just create your you know submit your content there uh, but what's going to happen is especially feedag.com will rank high in the search engines in when you submit it and that's why it's very important that you named your blog your main keyword phrase that's another reason it's very important because it all kind of works synergistically together all these things do so you're going to go ahead and uh, once you've open up the post atom you're gonna to go to your address bar and you're gonna see a bunch of uh, characters you know that's where you'd go to type in websites in your address bar and you're going to simply copy and paste from the address bar and you're gonna just copy um, you know that URL and then go right on over to feedag.com and then click on submit in the top right corner is where it's at right now and you choose submit and then once you've hit submit you just copy and paste that RSS feed URL from that you got from the post atom and once you do that you just follow their on-screen instructions to hit submit the same thing works for feedbase.net you're just basically submitting the RSS feed from the blogger.com blog to feedbase.net and that's gonna help you know all this is gonna work together to build some links to your site which will boost it up and everything's going to work uh, works together that's what's so great about it next thing you're going to do is go to blogger.com again or excuse me go to pingomatic.com using the steps on the first page and you're going to go in there and actually ping your blogger.com blog and that's going to help 
you know again get that blogger.com blog now indexed so that the link going from the blogger.com blog will actually benefit your website now and all this stuff can work really really quickly and keep in mind as you go through this first video the following videos in this set actually go on the screen and I actually show you how I'm doing these different processes so keep that in mind that's very important step number seven of this process is a little more difficult and time consuming but all the more important it's extremely important uh, for this step what you're going to do is you're going to write a press release on your website and you're going to submit it to free press release websites so what you're going to do is you're going to write a press release on your website and so that would be a press release on your business whatever it might be and what a press release is is basically it's just a it's a news release it's information that's newsworthy about your company and so inside your press release you want to have your title so you have your title of your press release in there and you know the title of the press release you want to try to incorporate your keyword phrase so you might you know come up with the press release title like Tulsa Oklahoma chiropractors um, you know aligning the sp aligning Tulsa spines you know for for 30 for 100 years or whatever it is you know so you come up with a spin or an angle that's kinda newsworthy whether it's you know you're you're launching your new website so um, you know so your so let's say uh, you know your keyword phrase is, is golf drivers title is golf driver so um, title is golf driver web drivers website you know announces um, announces uh, an one year anniversary six month anniversary whatever the case may be of the website you you basically kinda get the idea and I'm gonna show you on screen how to develop a press release and what's so great about press releases is that when you submit them they go out to really high authority websites and those sites will link back to you and when I say a high authority site I mean the site that the search engines look into as a site that it's been around for a while they trust it a lot and so therefore when you're getting links from those sites it's actually gonna help your website even more and also what's great is that the search engines because they like these sites will rank the individual press releases files themselves for the main keyword phrase if you've titled them correctly and that's why it's important to include your main keyword phrase inside the title of your press release so it's kind of an art to create a good press release title because you want it to be something that has your keyword in there but you want it to be something that's kind of fun and interesting that encourages people to look at it uh, because that's going to help you in the long term but if you can't think too creatively at least come up with even if it's the most boring news angle what's going to happen is if your main keyword phrase is up there those sites will rank high in the search engines and I'm not saying you shouldn't you know have passion when you're doing your press release but um, you know you don't have to you don't have to wait till you have the biggest news story in the world and you're going to actually take it and there's four press release sites I have listed here there's literally hundreds of them um, out there but what is so powerful about these four sites is that they get indexed really really quick in the search engines and so this is going to help you get indexed and start getting that traffic within 24 hours and so you're gonna to go to each one of these sites and actually go through submitting your press release the next thing you're going to do is write an article on your business so it's going to be an article of about 300 or so words 350 words or so on your business and you're gonna go through the process of submitting it to these two websites symbio.com and squidoo.com and the main point is you just go to these sites and you set up your account and once you set up your account with them you just follow their basic instructions for uh, setting up your site now what's great about Zimbio is you can actually take and import a blog so you could actually import your blogger blog by going to the post Adam and grabbing the RSS feed and you can import that content to Zimbio and also when you're naming these sites and pages use your main keyword phrase again when you're doing that and so these are sites that the search engines have a lot of trust in and they really um, you know they really like these sites so so we're gonna show you on screen though in the following videos how to go about doing this step by step so once you've gone about and you've done your articles and the press release the next thing that you're going to do is going to create a very short video 
and you're going to submit it to youtube.com, rever.com, and realpeoplerealstuff.com. Now again, there's tons of video hosting sites out there like YouTube, uh, but these are the three of the best ones. Now what I like about realpeoplerealstuff.com, it's relatively new. It's not you know, obviously as high authority as YouTube or some of these other video sites, but what I like about them is they're designed to be a video classified website. So you can submit there, they intend to run advertisements on there. So with your 24-hour traffic plan, um, you know how this fits in is that the search engines will actually index the video pages themselves individually. Plus, an interesting st statistic now is that YouTube has a very um, has a large part of the search market. Believe it or not, like people using the YouTube search feature are starting to use that about as many times as you know Yahoo and MSN search engines themselves are getting searches so it shows you how powerful online video is and that number just continues to rise and grow and grow and grow so it's very important that you have a video of some sort uh, for your business on these sites and so to create this video basically uh, we're gonna I'm gonna show you in the process but how to grab pictures uh, video consists of pictures and it consists of um, you know of pictures and sometimes audio it doesn't have to have audio but it certainly helps and so um, there's three sites you can go to um, one is called sxc.hu s x is in xylophone c is in cat dot h is in hungry u is in ugly um, you know so sxc.hu and it's a site that has a bunch of pictures in different niches and so you can grab these pictures from the site by just using their search their search features and they are royalty free images they offer royalty free images and also quite a few free images that you can use for commercial purposes that so doesn't cost you a dime and all you're gonna do is just get these into a little folder on your computer these images and then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go use a program called audacity.com a u d a c i t y dot com so or excuse me just go to audacity into google and once you go to audacity you're going to um, follow the instructions get a usb headset or sit close to your microphone on your computer uh... which all computers now come equipped with the microphone um, and what you're going to do then is actually record your video and record uh, you know the audio of you reading the article so you're actually going to use audacity to record the article that you wrote in the previous step and so what's going to happen there is now you're creating a podcast type file and so you know you're creating an mp3 file and once you've created that file and you have your pictures you're going to go right on over to uh, Windows Movie Maker if you're using a PC and if you're using a Mac they have their own uh, Windows Movie application and so you just go to Windows Movie Maker and it's gonna be in your left hand side of your browser or of your computer usually the start menu and it's gonna be under you know the main applications or just like under applications or something of that nature and so once you found Windows Movie Maker go ahead and open it up and then you're going to see a feature that says file import media and you're just going to basically import your video, your uh, pictures and you're going to import actually your uh, images and or excuse me the images that you that you took from sxe.hu related to your niche and then it's going to take um, you know the actual audio that you created and then you're just going to follow their instructions they give you really good instructions for dragging and dropping the pictures and the audio and then when you're done you just choose produce video and you know I just explained this process to you but it's really gonna be a lot great when you a lot greater when you can see this step and so I'm actually gonna show you step by step how to create it so that you totally understand the concept um, of actually creating your online video the next thing that you need to do is submit a classified advertisement to usfreeads.com and www.oodle.com these are two powerful classified websites uh, that are very similar to like Craigslist and Craigslist.com is another site that you should be using uh, for your marketing effort some and all you're doing is submitting a one or two sentence you know classified that encourages people to take some sort of action on your site you know if it's free report you have it's if it's a coupon for them calling you whatever the case might be get some sort of angle you know to get them there and then try to use your main keyword phrase in the title and I want to jump back to number nine on the videos when you're actually submitting your videos try to include your keyword phrase 
somewhere in the titles there of those. The next step here, and we're almost done, is you need to go ahead and join a forum within your niche, and you want to use the cPanel option and add the link to your website. You know, the link to your website. Add it in the signature part, and then you're going to go inside that forum and you're going to choose the welcome area. And inside that forum, you're going to notice the welcome section, which is where people will go you know when they're first introduced and that's usually a fairly high traffic part of the forum people you know are just saying hello to each other they're meeting each other uh, but what's so great is that it's got eyeballs from a targeted audience and inside your signature you've got a link back to your site what also will happen is that that signature will pass you know give you some benefit in the search engines most likely because it's another backlink and so it's all again as you can see working together and what's great is that these links you're building here are going to be there with your website for quite a long time and you know it's going to stick with your site longer than just after we've done this work and so it goes beyond just a 24-hour traffic plan it helps you maintain and get a more solid search engine ranking uh, but inside this forum it's a great way to just start getting some traffic that way it's important to go around to these forums ask questions of people uh, make comments where it makes sense to you you know and that will impress them and you know they will go visit your website typically from that signature so it gives you more of a long-term traffic option as well one other strategy that you want to do is create a radio show on blogtalkradio.com related to your niche so you know if you're related to your niche or your business and you want to name the show try to name the show your targeted buyer keyword phrase you know so if for example you're in the tire business it might be you know the Stillwater Oklahoma tire radio show or um, you know tires Stillwater radio or something like that so you come up with your main keyword phrase somehow you know inside there and you're going to create yourself a little radio show on blog talk radio and we'll again show you how to do that and what's powerful is that these pages themselves will link back to your site but they get indexed really quickly and finally the process that you go through in this 24-hour plan is you're going to create a Twitter account so you just go to www.twitter.com t-w-i-t-t-e-r twitter.com and um, you're just going to create an account you're going to choose join and so if you do not have a Twitter account you'll want to get one and you're going to want to include in that Twitter account name you know try to include your main keyword phrase somewhere inside of there and what's so powerful about Twitter is that it will link back to your site because you want to set up your profile so it links into your website and then you know you can make a few Twitter posts that mention your site as well and then what you're gonna do within Twitter is you need you wanna go out and you wanna follow people inside of your niche because that's going to help you get a targeted following rather quickly and again all this these strategies I just laid out verbally are gonna be shown to you in step-by-step -step video format uh, coming up here next and so this is the first video that gives you the step-by-step -step traffic plan there's 13 basic steps you can use now you don't have to do them all but it will certainly give you the best benefit possible and that is uh, the most important aspect